You're watching Star News, the news leader in Southside, Virginia. All right, everybody, we are back. I'm Jessica Robinson. We're live tonight, and the number's on the screen. It's 434 549 8548. Press 1, you'll be live with us in the studio. I want to introduce my guest. Some of you may have already uh, been aware of him thanks to his other appearances with Charles Rourke on our station. But Merle Rutledge, thanks for coming by the studio. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Now, Merle is a political activist and a community activist, and you've been back in the area, uh, back and forth, and you're beginning to sort of help people and represent people with their legal issues, right? Um, not with their legal issues, but with their complaints, yes. Okay. Now, one of the things we're going to be showing you tonight is arrest video. Uh, after the first commercial break, you're going to see arrest video from a local arrest with the Danville Police Department. So we do want to make you aware of that. And you're going to be talking to me about complaints, yeah. not only with this particular complaint, uh, but with some of the other uh, complaints and issues that you've been dealing with. Because I have to ask you, an apartment complex a few months ago had a serious problem with mold, I believe it was. Yes, that's correct. And whatever happened with that? Tell us a little bit about the history there. Well, what they have told me is that they have made the necessary corrections to the apartment complex, but it was definitely a dangerous situation as far as citizens that was living there and what they was inhaling mm -hmm. and pretty much being exposed to mold, not only on them, but as far as the furniture, stuff like that. So in this meantime, I'm very happy with the response that they have made. And also, I would like to thank actually Danville City Councilman John Gilstrap. Uh, hopefully I pronounced that right. It's Gilstrap, but that's Gilstrap. fine. I'm sure he'll take it. <laughs> yeah, for um, definitely coming forward and saying that they're going to look at, you know, different ordinances mm -hmm. as far as um, correcting the problem. So how is it, by the way, that you're becoming an activist and people are reaching out to you? How do they know about you? I think it's word of mouth. You know, I, I would hate for people to reach out, uh, out to me after an arrest has happened, but also sometimes I'm fortunate for it to just be, you know, something small and petty. Mm -hmm. But um, I think it's mostly just word of mouth. They know that I'm out there. They know I'm going to definitely speak my mind, and I'm definitely going to go to the back for them. So as far as it's concerned, I think they just like the fact that they have a new, strong voice in this area. Right. So... Tell everybody, you're from the Chatham area. Yes, I'm from the Chatham area, but I was born in Irvington, New Jersey. Okay. And I spent my, you know, middle school and high school years down here. And then I went to Norfolk area for Norfolk State University. Okay. So now I'm just coming back home. Right. And I guess when I call you a political or community activist, is that a right title? Well, some call me a civil rights activist, and that's what the newspapers have labeled me. And... Realistically, I fall more into that title. Okay. Yeah. And that's pretty interesting because, of course, we have you on in the month of February. And, yeah. uh, you know, we want to acknowledge Black History Month. And, and uh, I, I heard someone talking recently uh, about, you know, the continuation of what's called the nonviolent movement yeah. uh, and how, uh, you know, activism continues and the civil rights struggle continues. Yes. And civil rights not just being for African Americans, but for all Americans. That's correct. Certainly affecting women and those folks who are. Uh, I would think uh, economically challenged. I think that's a safe way of saying that, you know, and that's most Americans right now. They're economically yes. challenged, right? So you come back to the area. Um, for folks who don't know your history, what happened in the city of uh, the town of Chatham with the, the mayor? I mean, did you, you um, for folks who don't know your history, what happened in the city of uh, the town of Chatham with the, the mayor? I mean, did you, were you ready to be the mayor for the town of Chatham? What happened with that? Do you mind me asking? Yes, I was ready to be the mayor for the town of Chatham. But, you know, I'm, I always want to congratulate my opponent. Mm -hmm. He won, and I'm very satisfied with what's going on in the town. And we definitely have some forms of communication. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done. Mm -hmm. But if there's still an issue, I'll let them know and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So you threw yourself in the political ring right away when you came back to town? I didn't mean to. Okay. It wasn't nobody running. And I felt like if you're going to have that type of position, you need a challenge. Right. And I already had my issues with the town firsthand. So I'm not going to just sit around and just be silent while stuff is like this is going on. So I definitely used it as actually a platform. Right. You know, so people could be aware of the issues that's going on in Chatham mm -hmm. and in other areas. Yeah. And we'll talk about that. Go ahead, Carl. You have questions? 
Good evening, Miss Robinson. Hey, good evening. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Very disappointed about last night. Ah, uh, the Super Bowl. He's talking about the Super Bowl. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah, I fell I asleep on the Super Bowl. My team took a nose. Took a here tonight. He's talking about in, in just a few minutes. You're going to see an arrest from, I believe, it's the city of Danville, and how those Danville city uh, police officers handled the arrest. There's video now. Uh, people are starting to really come forward and not be afraid to speak their mind when they when they disagree with uh, things that are happening locally. What do you think about that? Well, the old same thing is if they got evidence to show whatever's going on, it's best thing to bring it to the public or to your to your local I mean to your local officials like city council. Right, right. And, and in, uh, in this case, I mean, Merle, you've you've responded uh, to an apartment complex recently that had mold issues where the 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 um, folks didn't feel like they were getting any response from the folks who owned the, and operated and managed the apartments, right? Yes, um, I think it was pretty much intimidation type of tactics that was used against the residents there to make them not wear their rights. And it's a good thing that there are people who supervise this actual apartment complex that's out of town that are more familiar with their rights as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. So as far as I'm concerned, the problem has been resolved. Mm -hmm. But if I hear another issue in regards to it, then they definitely know who to call. Yeah. So how do you feel about that caller, knowing that there's somebody kind of helping the, the citizens and watching out for them? Well, it's a good thing that somebody is actually watching out for citizens, and I hope they watch out for the senior people, I mean, senior citizens and our disabled here in the town, too, and our veterans. All right. Good enough. Hey, Thank you, Ms. Robinson. Thanks for the call. Bye -bye. I always appreciate you. All right. That's one of our regulars. And um, so you start with the political platform of the, mayor, the mayoral uh, candidacy in Chatham. You lose graciously. Mm -hmm. Right, and that that sort of projects you on the scene, though, as someone who's interested and not and, and doesn't have a problem with addressing the issues that are relevant to you and to others that you feel uh, need to be addressed. How have people re re received you? Uh, you mentioned uh, Councilman John Gilstrap, and you spoke highly of him. But how have other folks received you as being sort of this civil rights activist in the area? I think it's kind of like a mixed pot, you know. Um, most of the time frame from. The more pro Rutledge, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, group, they're going to say he's very intelligent, he's a fighter, he's very passionate, and pretty much, you know, he's going to get the job done mm -hmm. one way or the other. But then from the other side, they're going to say, I'm a troublemaker, um, he loves to sue everybody, um, he pretty much is just trying to ruffle feathers. And I'm like, I take all that hate and I congratulate him. Mm -hmm. And I always say thank you. Mm -hmm. It keeps me going. Well, what's this all this Sue Happy stuff? What's 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 with the lawsuits? Well, they needed a way to actually let the public know what's going on. And sometimes, if you're doing something to that type of point or to that degree that you feel that you're not going to correct yourselves, then somebody has to be there willing to fight against you. And I'm not one of the ones to go ahead and let somebody step on my back. Now, if you want to do that, then you know you could try your best. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to always do the easy way or the hard way options, meaning we could go ahead and work things out without court battle, or we're going to do it the hard way. Mm -hmm. So, But you're not afraid to take people to court. No. Why well, should I be? Right. I have enough wins to go with the losers. And yeah. one thing I can say about me in court, and I'm pretty sure any attorney who has had a chance to actually go up against me, they will all say he knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And as far as it's concerned, you know, there's attorneys to this day that come to me asking me for videos or documents, FOIAs, and pretty much that means Freedom of Information mm -hmm. Act or public records requests. And, of course, it helps their clients. So mm -hmm. I look at it as an overall picture of everybody helping everybody. Because for us to go ahead and make change, mm -hmm. we actually got to start being part of the process. And... Doing nothing is no excuse. All right. Listen, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We're going to be back with some uh, video, uh, and uh, you're going you're gonna to take some calls, and we're going to be talking about a police report, uh, uh, an actual arrest. We've got the video on it, and we'll let you see what you think. We'll be back after this commercial break. Stay tuned.